Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel. Good day to you, wherever you're watching me from, you're very welcome. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, do please subscribe, like, share, click notification buttons when we're on, you will be notified. I'm so glad to be here and I hope you are trying to watch, <laughs> watch this video today. Um, this is just on Prince Harry and the Duchess Meghan. Oh my word, oh my word. Their visit to Nigeria is really, really an amazing visit. They have been really, really blessed to be there. I could tell you that I've been spoiled, really, yes. Um, I want to just say something here. We know that uh, Prince Harry has been involved in helping the wounded soldiers to encourage them, just give them hope that there's still life after losing limbs or whatever must have happened or mental uh, uh, um, illness because of the war. Um, and also he's also promoting uh, mental health as he goes to talk about this because they all, they all together can't go to war and fight a war and see things that they can't even tell people and not have, you know, have to struggle how to deal with that, those images and how to move on from there, how to forget the past, you know, even just being human on this earth, you go through things and you want to put them behind you. So he came up with this Evictus game where he encouraged his uh, wounded soldiers and their families. So uh, to the, uh, um, the last couple of, Days. I think they've been they're going to be in Nigeria for a few days, where they're meeting these people and talking to them and trying to encourage them. You know, because Nigeria were involved in uh, last year, a victor's game that was held in uh, Deso something like that in Germany. Um, so here we go. They go to Nigeria and. Uh, they're really, really having a good time. When he marked the 10th year a few days ago uh, in in UK, it was kind of, um, you know, not really paying too much attention to him because really I think they're trying to say, well, we don't want you in the limelight because you're not an official working royal, like they say. So the media kind of just kind of put, them, put him aside, really, because the wife didn't go with him. To the UK. So here we go. And he was done and straight to Nigeria, where they had a royal, royal welcome, royal treatment in every way, in every way. Sometimes you just say, well, God has a way of doing things, of healing the heart and healing the wounds of men. So we give that to God, who is the father and a good one at it. I want to show you a video of um, their time in Nigeria. Let me not talk too much. Let's watch it together. <laughs>
Mental health affects every single person in the entire world. And the more you talk about it, the more you can kick stigma away, far, far away, into the long grass. And then everybody will have the opportunity to be able to share. I cannot, like, I cannot put it into words how it feels to meet the Duke and the Duchess. Oh my God, the Duchess! Oh my God, they're they're, they're wonderful people. Just you know, on camera, they're good, but in person, holy moly! Oh. Meeting the Duke and the Duchess today made me feel like I could do anything. And that's what I'm hoping to continue doing, like always, tell, always continuing with the mindset that I can do anything as long as I set my mind to it. The visit of the Duke and Duchess of Success means a lot to us in this school because it highlights their First of all, their partnership with our partners, Genko. It highlights the fact that they think mental health is very important. And that's a message that we all wish we could pass along to our young ones. So as a school, definitely, it has opened the door for us to be able to have a very healthy conversation on the issue of mental health. The picture is beautiful. It's very welcome. Words in a very different way, and I thought, yes, I do see me and you, and you see me and you, but as I look around this room, I see myself in all of you as well. visit to Nigeria, be here with all of you. We believe in you, we believe in your futures, we believe in your ability to continue to tell your stories and to just be honest with each other. There is no need to suffer in silence. <laughs> just make sure that you're taking care of yourselves and that begins with your mental health and really talking about whatever is coming up for you. So thank you to all of you, thank you to these teams, to our executive director of the Art 12 Foundation, whose birthday it is today. Hello everybody, it is fantastic to be here in Nigeria with you all and to be here at the school for our first visit. Hi. Hey. So if, if you take anything away from today, just know that mental health affects every single person in the entire world.